this is Laura with The Culture Project, and today we're going to be talking about breaking up. The moment has arrived. It's time to break up. Regardless of how long you've been dating, ending a relationship can be difficult. You might have a few breakup scenarios planned, but let's put them aside for a moment and consider a few things. When you enter into a relationship with someone, there's an investment and level of intimacy that unites both people. Over time, a relationship deepens and can be a profound encounter with another. This is what makes breaking up so hard. You get to know someone really well, and it can be difficult to end things when you sense a relationship isn't meant to be. So, where do you go from here? How do you navigate breaking up? Well, for starters, it's important to remember that your significant other is a human being with emotions, desires, wounds, and struggles. Keeping their humanity in mind is essential for respecting them throughout the process of breaking up. And let's be honest, there's no perfect way to break up. It's gonna be difficult because we're not made for broken relationships. That being said, there are ways to make this conversation easier so each person is honored throughout the process. The method I'll share with you is not foolproof, but it aims to have the best intentions for each person. All I ask is that you reflect on the following points before you decide on your breakup plan. Number one, break up in person. When we use technology to break up, we're putting a wall between us and the other person. And sometimes what unfolds can be rather dicey. Things can be misunderstood, words could be taken out of context, and emotionally charged reactions can spark. Basically, when we break up with someone using technology, it shows a lack of reverence for the other person and a lack of maturity to handle this face-to-face. -face. So do yourself and your significant other a favor and sit down for this conversation in person. Number two, share your side. Before heading into this conversation, you should have an idea of what you want to share. Take some time to reflect on the relationship and why you are breaking up with this person. Gathering your thoughts ahead of time will give you the confidence to clearly communicate and make the break. Also, it's important to be honest and straightforward. There's no need to be rude or harsh, but give the reasoning behind this decision. Do this so the other person is not left confused or holding on to the hope that you will get back together. Number three, listen. This is the time where we stop talking and start hearing out the other person. Depending on the state of the relationship, the other person may have seen this coming, or maybe they're in shock. Give them a moment to process what you've shared and allow them to express their thoughts. Number four, be firm in your decision. Maybe after listening to their side, you're a little flustered. You might be caught up in the feels and questioning why you wanted to break up at all. This is normal, but remember the reasons why you decided to end the relationship. They will ground you when you might be tempted to let the emotions take over. Number five, set boundaries. Moving forward, your relationship with this person will look different. It's gonna be difficult to move on if you're both regularly talking and hanging out. Setting clear boundaries for future communication and interactions will benefit you both as you heal from the breakup. Also, have a close family member or friend hold you accountable to these boundaries. They will keep you firm in your decision and remind you why this breakup was necessary. Maybe after hearing these practicals, you still have a crying in the rain breakup planned, but before you follow through, I ask you to consider if you were on the flip side. How would you like the other person to approach you if they were the one breaking things off? Would you prefer the dramatic scene or would you appreciate an honest conversation with closure? When we put ourselves in the other person's place, the appropriate response usually becomes more clear. Thank you for watching. Click here to subscribe and here for more videos. For more info, visit theculture project.org.